Nor in Kazakhstan. Main engine start and lift off. The launch of a rocket carrying the first stage of the International Space Station. Within six years, the station will be a virtual village in the sky, with people living and working in space. But there's a lot of work to do before the station's ready. Zarya, the module that's gone up today, will be used to power and propel the station. Then, in two weeks' time, the shuttle Endeavour will attach a docking module. By next summer, the main crew quarters will be added. In all, over 100 separate bits will be bolted on, creating a space station the size of Wembley Stadium. Within a few years, the brightest star ever will appear in the sky. It'll be a sign of hope because all these nations are coming together to utilize technology not to blow up humanity, but to make this place a better world and to leave Earth orbit and to land on Mars. Training is already underway for life on the space station. Last year, I visited a full-size model at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in America, which astronauts are using to give them the feel of what life will be like on board. Although it's been called a village in the sky, it won't be a holiday destination. Scientists say they're mainly going to use it for experiments. So I guess our summer holidays will be earthbound for a few years yet. Now to the tale of a barking dog, a French actress and a frightened postman.